and welche Änderungen? For sci-fi fans, Microsoft's new Skype translator may look familiar. It allows people who don't speak a common language to communicate instantly, a common theme of science fiction, literature, television and movies for decades. Now some tech companies, like Seattle's Intellectual Ventures, are even bringing in science fiction writers to offer up inspiration to their inventors. It really is uh, just bringing them in to talk. I'm always very open-minded that pretty much any Pretty crazy idea can come in and convince me that it might happen. Crazy sounding ideas indeed, such as a space elevator to transport people into orbit. Astrophysicist Jordan Kerr and his team have demonstrated the idea might not be that far-fetched, using a laser beam to power a vehicle up a kilometer of cable. So we actually did turn a bit of science fiction into science fact right here. Some of the aspects of my career derive from things that I read about in science fiction. Science fiction writer Greg Bear has been invited in by Google, Microsoft Research and others to brainstorm with their staff. Science fiction is sort of the dreaming mind of science. It's, it's the duty of a science fiction story to take and put a new idea in the context of what humans would do and how they would react to it. Meanwhile, some technologies imagined in science fiction are already wildly popular. I speak Cantonese, English, French, German. Apple's Siri has made the talking computer commonplace. And hopes for Google's driverless car recently shifted up a gear when the governor of California signed a bill to allow autonomous vehicles to operate on the state's roads.